Hello and welcome back to Shay Guevara. This is video number six and we are going to be talking about terminal value. As a quick recap, we have completed our inputs, the forecast of the income statement, we've completed the forecast of the balance sheet. From those numbers we extracted the free cash flow forecast for the years 2018 to 2022 which are the five years that the case requires us to to do the reality is and i hope this is the case that our business is not going to end in 2022 so there are in fact hopefully many years of prosperous growth and profitability beyond our forecast and we need to be able to capture that value in our valuation process and hence we have the terminal value or sometimes referred to as the perpetuity value so there's a formula here that does this calculation for us and i'm going to put it up here on the screen so that we can see it there we go so i've named some of the cells so that the formula has those names in it so let's break this formula down into effectively two parts the first part of the formula is accounting for the growth so it is taking the free cash flow from 2022 and it's multiplying it by one plus the free cash flow growth rate so I need to remind you of a number that was provided to us in the case and I'm going to bring into screen I'm going to bring into screen the Shea Guevara case I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to remind you of this data so assume a growth rate of 3% and a discount rate of 25% I need that data for my terminal value calculation so back here to the formula and we can see that the first part is saying take last year's free cash flow and multiply it by one plus the free cash flow growth rate that free cash flow growth rate is the three percent so the expectation is that this cash flow this free cash flow will grow at three percent per annum and we are simply counting or calculating the first year of growth to start off with in our terminal value formula so it's going to take the 4.2 million and it's going to add to that three percent then the second part of this calculation is the divide by discount rate minus free cash flow growth rate which is the difference between the riskiness of the project discount rate and the growth rate of the project and in that division calculation it completes the free cash flow calculation and what happens is we end up with a number here of effectively 19.6 million rand which is supposed to as best it can in a single number encapsulate the free cash flow from year 2023 to well who knows infinity if you want all right so this this calculation is very sensitive to the discount rate and the free cash flow growth rate and when we do some sensitivity analysis a little bit later on in our series we will establish how sensitive this number is so this number was originally conceived way before the time when we had spreadsheets the terminal value has a neat little formula that you can plug into a calculator and do the calculation for you now that we have spreadsheets i would suggest that there's actually a better way of doing this marginally better way and what we should be doing is perhaps forecasting our income statement balance sheet and free cash flow on a more specific basis maybe another 10 sorry another 5 or 10 years into the future rather than using a terminal value now at some point as you forecast into the future of course your forecast becomes less and less accurate 
it is not going to be representative of the world because we know ne less and less about what's going to happen further into the future so that's the downside of forecasting every single year and the downside to doing a terminal value is that you've literally got three different variables driving this thing so both ways have their downside but uh, i would suggest that you can be a little bit more accurate if you forecast specifically for all the years we're not going to do that for Che Guevara that's just a piece of information that relates to valuations in general for now we have a terminal value we have a series of free cash flows for our five years of the forecast what we need to do next is we need to apply our discount rate and adjust these future cash flows to the present value taking into account the risk we're going to do that in the next video see you there